Jennifer Lawrence lost millions in the sale of her Upper East Side penthouse in July, every cloud has a silver lining. The A-list actress wasn't down for long and recently bought a brand new Manhattan home for over $21 million. J-Law has also long owned a spacious estate with a history of showbiz owners in Beverly Hills where she lives when she's in LA. Today we'll take a look at a few of her charming homes we even found the listings. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jennifer Lawrence is an A-list actress whose films have grossed over $6 billion worldwide and she was the world's highest paid actress in both 2015 and 2016. During her childhood, she performed in church plays and school musicals and at age 14, she was discovered by a talent scout while in New York City with her family. Jayla then moved to LA and thus began her acting career, starting with guest roles in TV shows and moving on to her first major one starring on the sitcom The Bill Engvall Show. Her film breakthrough came with the drama Winter Bone in 2010, and her career progressed thanks to being Mystique in the X-Men movies and Katniss in Hunger Games. Jennifer's role in the Hunger Games, while well, it only established her as the highest grossing action heroine of all time. Her successful film performances continued, even winning an Academy Award for Silver Linings Playbook, one of my personal faves. The list of movies she's acted in goes on and on, and all that being said, J-Law's current estimated net worth is roughly $130 million. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up but we're the original house tour connoisseurs and 95% of you watching aren't subscribed so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. You guys have been requesting this one so without further ado we'll be taking a look at the homes of Hollywood actress Jennifer Lawrence who has real estate in LA and New York City. We've also done house tours in the likes of Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla Fisher and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. J-Law has had plenty of success on the big screen, but not so much with her real estate in the Big Apple. While she recently bought a new place here, which we'll look at, it came after selling her previous Manhattan penthouse at a massive $5.7 million loss. According to tax records, Jennifer paid $15.6 million for the full floor spread back in 2016, and while she initially listed it for just over $15 million, sadly she only got $9.9 million for it. Apparently considering monthly fees, taxes, upkeep and the like, this condo's bills would cost an additional 100 k per year. So maybe J-Law made the right move. The almost 4,100 square foot full floor spread was perched atop a 30 story luxury tower in an area of the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Inside there were 3 beds, 3.5 baths, 12 foot ceilings and 360 degree views through all of the floor to ceiling windows. Not to mention an extra 3,000 square feet of landscape terraces. Opaque glass and wrought iron doors open up directly into J-Law's former combination living and dining room which was massive, stretching 53 feet long with open views to the west. A stone double-sided fireplace divided the huge space from a more intimate media room wrapped in three walls of windows. Nearby, the high-end all-white chef's kitchen had a carved marble and mirror island, as well as an attached breakfast room which were both full of light thanks to more windows. Separate from the common spaces, all three bedrooms open up a long hallway behind the kitchen. Both guest rooms are en suite and one was done up as a billiards room with padded walls. J-Law's star-worthy master retreat was secluded and had its own private access to the lower terrace plus a two room walk-in closet and two bathrooms, one with a white marble vanity and windowed steam shower. The lower terrace measured about 60 feet and boasted multiple seating and lounging areas while the upper terrace, accessed by an exterior staircase, was more than 65 feet long with an outdoor fireplace, ping pong table and large outdoor grill to feed an entire party. While the wraparound city views are breathtaking, they certainly may be a bit much for the squeamish or those afraid of heights. While it's a completely new build and we only have a couple of photos to go by, J-Law upgraded her New York living situation despite her multi-million dollar loss on that property. It was just reported last month that Ms. Lawrence and her art gallery owning husband Cook Maroney are the owners of a brand new townhouse in New York City's West Village area, which she bought in an off-market deal for a massive $21.9 million. 
Apparently, the Hunger Games star actually agreed to buy her new home only months before the pandemic struck. Her new townhouse is one of only seven in this snazzy new complex, which replaced a parking garage and was designed by English star architect David Chipperfield and developed by Edward Minskoff, who's keeping a unit in the building himself. There are dual two-story townhouses, four three-bedroom condos, and a 9,000 square foot duplex penthouse. The red brick building is nearly completed, so it should be moving ready for Jennifer and her hubby soon enough. According to preliminary plans, the probable unit that the couple purchased spans just over 5,000 square feet, and it's one of the townhouses, and opens up into a contemporary open floor plan with a kitchen, living room, and landscape garden on the ground level. Floor plans filed with the city show four bedrooms upstairs and 3.5 baths in total, including a master suite with two bathrooms and a large walk-in closet. The other larger townhouse for sale at the development currently priced at over 26 million, and there are dedicated garages and additional basement space for both of the townhouses. The mix of condo amenities include a full fitness center and sauna, and according to the listing agent, this all struck the right chord with the buyer. Also adding, they had been looking for a long time and this townhouse was immediately interesting to them. Finally, let's take a look at J-Law's charming estate in Beverly Hills. The celeb pedigreed estate was previously owned by both Jessica Simpson and Ellen DeGeneres, so if it looks familiar, that's why. Purchased back in 2014 for $8.2 million, Jennifer's home is located behind a guarded gate in the exclusive Hidden Valley Estates enclave of Beverly Hills. Other residents and J-Law's famous neighbors include the likes of Cameron Diaz, Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis and Adele. The gorgeous French style home spans 5,500 square feet and oozes old Hollywood glamour in many of the rooms. The entire home itself was just renovated before J-Law moved in and was done to the nines following that designer makeover. There are a total of five beds and six baths throughout along with charming common spaces. The front doors open up to a foyer with gorgeous sweeping staircase and the home includes a formal dining room, a gourmet kitchen with restaurant grade stove top and brand new appliances as well as a breakfast nook. There's an elegant living room near the dining area and another family room offers plenty of windows and French doors leading to the garden, as well as a bar in the back corner and beamed ceilings. Follow the grand staircase up to the second story to discover three large bedrooms, including Miss Lawrence's decadent master suite. Here, she can retreat to the French wall molding, a sitting area, balcony, huge walk-in closet, and ensuite. The master bath is spacious with rustic charm. A fourth bedroom upstairs was also converted into a stylish dressing room complete with a salon vanity and ensuite bath, and a fifth bedroom downstairs serves as a sitting room. J-Law's home is complete with ornate fixtures, high-end hardware, and brand new marble and hardwood flooring. The kitchen and breakfast nook lead out to the beautiful backyard garden where charm surrounds the home. There's a floral courtyard in front featuring a koi pond and dining area, and out back there's a lush lawn, large lap pool, and deck. This gorgeous oasis outside completes J-Law's romantic Beverly Hills estate. So now we've taken a look at where Jennifer Lawrence calls home in colluding her spacious properties in both Los Angeles and New York City. While she bought that brand new townhouse in West Village for over $21 million, it's not the only real estate she owns there. J-Law reportedly maintains a 3,000 square foot loft conversion penthouse in the trendy Tribeca neighborhood, which she bought for $9 million in 2017. She's also put this place up as a high-end rental unit asking over 27 k per month. After looking at J-Law's homes like her former penthouse in Manhattan, her new place, and her charming estate in Hidden Valley, Beverly Hills, which was your fave? Mine was definitely her home in LA. I love the cozy and glamorous vibes. Be sure to rate her properties and let me know your fave in the comments down below. I'm also trying to get to 1,000 subs on my personal channel, so I'd love it if you guys like and subscribe. If you want to see our brand new studio tour where I film all of these, we'll link you my latest vid. So Shiro, get off the table, bro. Sorry, what do I say? I froze. Look who's over on the other side. <laughs> What's Michael like off camera? Whoa! Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose houses you want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!